I got blown up. I saw the explosives. Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 worst actors on Coronation Street. For this list, we'll be looking at the performers in the modern age of the Manchester-based soap that the audience has vocally deemed terrible. We both walked away. Yeah, live to tell the tale. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Number 10. Kieran Bowes, Jack Webster. Taking over the role of Jack Webster in 2016 from Maddox Beswick, Kieran Bowes is still a young performer at the beginning of his career on The Famous Cobbles. However, that hasn't stopped fans from disliking his work. Jack is the product of an affair between Kevin Webster and Molly Dobbs, and has been a character on Coronation Street since 2010. She's got a quote here and later. Find out what's happening with Alfie. However, Bose's monotone delivery and underwhelming reactions haven't done him any favors with the audience, but he did earn a lot of praise after Jack lost his foot to sepsis in 2018. Yet some fans also can't get their head around Bose being several years older than Jack is meant to be. Do you want to talk about this? I'm sure you've got more important things to be getting on with. Number 9. James Craven Aaron Sanford. No, that's rubbish. Something which you later rely on in That's court. rubbish. We copped off weeks ago. Only brought into the soap in 2022, Aaron Sanford didn't last long in Weatherfield when he left in 2023. Portrayed by James Craven, the actor's reactions were strange. In one episode, when Aaron was being threatened by his estranged father, it looked like he was suppressing laughter. It was odd. I'm fine, honest, it's all good. Even when the police came to question him, Craven's underwhelming reaction took a lot of the tension out of the scene. Often, the actor relied on the same facial expression for many moments. Aaron departed the soap under a massive dark cloud once he admitted to Amy Barlow that he'd assaulted her. However, some fans were unhappy as he didn't face any legal justice for his grim actions. I told you, I couldn't. It's writing it down. I don't know. Number eight, Vincent Ebrahim, Hashim Alamin. No less than he'd deserve. Which would you tell them about first? The 50K he stole off me? Or the stuff he's putting through your till? Veteran actor Vincent Ebrahim made his name in the UK with his work on The Kumars at number 42. After that, he popped up in many shows and films, including a recurring role in the soap opera Hollyoaks. Then, in 2021, he appeared on The Cobbles as the devious Hashim, the father-in-law to Zidane Nazir. But only a couple of months later, Hashim perished from a heart attack, ending Ebrahim's short stint. Help me. I think he's having a heart attack. And for some in the audience, this was a blessing. There were criticisms of how Ebrahim spoke, almost appearing as though he was being dubbed. My boys did it right. There's no way the police would suspect it was deliberate. This made many of the ten scenes involving his crimes jarring and difficult to invest in. Number seven, Jack James Ryan, Jacob Hay. Size mom. She's a, uh, well, she's not my biggest fan. Stepping onto the soap in 2021, the audience detested Jacob Hay straight away. As a substance pusher, he groomed Simon Barlow to get involved in the gang. But after a while, Jacob began a redemption arc. But regardless, some fans weren't happy with how Jack James Ryan played the role. I don't want any of it. I don't want anything from you. When Jacob told his father Damon what his uncle Harvey did to him, the emotional impact was lost as Ryan paused at every other word and lacked feeling. When I tried to get away, he nearly killed me. Even during his last appearance in early 2023, the facial reactions undercut the tension when he stood up to Damon, who, in contrast, had expressions that were spot on and showed him to really be nasty. Talk to you guys. Tell them, tell them I'm a good seller. I'll, I'll, I'll earn back that 50k and another 50 large on top. Number six, Anthony Cotton, Sean Tully. 
If Izzy has to lie to you because she wants a night out with her mates, well then that's your lookout, not our. Despite being one of Coronation Street's longest serving performers, Anthony Carton, who plays Sean Tully, is a regular target for fans who slate his work. In 2018, several forums criticized Cotton, who first arrived on the soap in 2003. Many of the responses stated Sean should be a background actor, as they believe Cotton struggles with leading big storylines due to poor performance. Right, listen. I don't want to talk to you." The actor publicly acknowledged and mocked their opinions on social media when he signed a new long-term contract on the soap. He didn't help himself in 2004 when Cotton said it was an easy role to be Sean since he acts like himself, which isn't exactly stretching an actor's repertoire. He asked for that. Well, you better clean it up. He can. Number 5. Alex Bain – Simon Barlow Yeah, go and ask him if you don't believe me. I will, and you can come with me. No, I'm not. After the character of Simon Barlow debuted on the soap in 2003, Alex Bain took over the role in 2008. And for a while, he seemingly did great with the new parts, winning and being nominated for several awards due to his work. However, in recent years, the tides have turned on Bain. And by tides, we mean the audience. Did you not hear what I just said? My dad said the faulty. His performances have been deemed cringy and awkward, especially when he attempts to be tough as Simon. Some fans have claimed they turn off the soap when Bane is involved in a scene, which is kind of harsh. Numerous forums have popped up over the years calling for Coronation Street to get rid of Simon and Bane. Do you know what? Go for it! I'll do any test you want! Number 4. Jenny McAlpine – Fizz Dobbs Uh, I cleared it with Carla, you know the real boss? Another long-term star of the soap, Jenny McAlpine, has been playing Fizz Dobbs since 2001. Originally hired for a five-episode stint, the producers of Coronation Street liked her so much that McAlpine has remained there ever since. And that annoys some in the soap's demographic who have loathed her on-screen presence as Fizz. Most of the criticism stems from her being thrust into the spotlight to carry a heavy storyline when her talents are better suited to a supporting role, as McAlpine works better as a comedy actor. Your husband cheated with your sister, how did that make you feel? However, when Fizz tackles something more dramatically tense, her reactions are underwhelming. Even when she fights people, Fizz comes across more jokey than threatening, which takes viewers out of the moment. Watching scrambled, it's just Well, like... pause it! You can watch the rest in the morning. I want to watch it now! Number three, Colson Smith, Craig Tinker. I can't believe I'm hearing this. Since 2011, Colson Smith has played Craig Tinker on Coronation Street. And through all that time, according to the audience, his acting ability hasn't really improved in over a decade. Smith whips out the same stunted expression for the vast majority of his scenes, alongside a monotone delivery. In 2018, Smith did show the talent he's capable of when Craig developed OCD. What are you doing? How long have you been there? But once that concluded, he went back to the same style that turned fans against him, with the mystery crutch storyline in 2022 being a clear indicator of this. In 2023, there was a call to have Craig drop from the show for being useless, as the audience believed the character had stagnated for so long. Didn't know you liked whiskey? I don't. But it's what people do, isn't it? It's the go-to beverage in this situation. Number 2. Ryan Russell – Michael Bailey This is taking forever. When the Bailey family joined Coronation Street in 2019, several of the actors were criticized by fans, but perhaps none more so than Ryan Russell, who plays Michael Bailey. Not long into his stint, the former CBeebies presenter found himself in hot water after tweets he made between 2011 and 2013 contained homophobic and sexist content, which he apologized for. However, that didn't stop fans from slating Russell's acting ability. It's an app for people who can't clap. You're at a gig and you've only got one hand free because you've got a drink in the other hand. Then there's a round of applause, but you can't join in, so 
What do you do? On forums, some have gone as far as to call him the worst actor they've seen in a soap in a long time. One instance where he struggled was when Michael discovered Tiana wasn't his daughter. What, what do you mean? Who do I think? Grace Vickers is Tiana's mom. She's our daughter. What? What's going on? The actor's reaction was awkward and the tone of voice was off, taking away from the shocking revelation. Number 1. Paddy Bever, Max Turner. Uh, where do you think you're going? Upstairs. I still live here, don't I? Uh, no, you're not. You're sitting down. I'm going to talk about why you think you can do whatever you want. Get out of my way. In 2022, when the National Television Award nomination for Paddy Bever's work as Max Turner was announced on social media, the comments were filled with fans astonished at the decision. Even though he went on to win, many viewers aren't supportive of Bever at all. Right, thanks. After taking the role in 2020, the actor has been criticized for his wooden acting. Even during more light-hearted scenes, the awkward performance becomes a distraction. But it's during more intense moments that Bever loses the audience. When he badly injured his leg on the glass, Bever acted as though it was a minor inconvenience, as though this was annoying rather than painful. When David turned up, rather than looking deathly ill, Bever looked bored. Max! What's happened? Are you alright? Speak to me. And sorry. Which soap actor do you think is the worst? Let us know in those comments below. Dear. Yeah. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo UK and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.